Hello everyone and welcome back to another amazing and epic chess game from the history of chess. And this chess game is from 1988, a very interactive chess game from the Reykjavik chess tournament. Of course, Gary Kasparov was the winner of the tournament. He played I believe 17 games, only lost one of them. Also only for the records, Mikhail Tal also competed in the same tournament. And he finished the tournament in the third place. So let's see what happened in this chess game. This is one of the epic chess games of the mighty, great Garry Kasparov, who was playing with the black pieces, and his opponent is John Elvest, who was Estonian American chess player and the grandmaster, and one time I believe candidate for the World Chess Championship title. So let's see what happened in this chess game, a must-see chess game. But in this chess game Kasparov is playing with the black pieces, so I want to see this chess game from the perspective of the mighty, great Garry Kasparov. For many chess experts, the greatest chess player of all times, and his opponent, Elvest, starts the game. With pushing the c-pawn, this is the English opening, knight to f6, knight to c3, e5, Knight to f3, knight to c6, e3, bishop to b4, queen to c2, Kasparov castled, d3, rook to e8, bishop to d2, bishop takes on c3, giving up the bishop, but now pushing the pawn, d5. Kasparov is not wasting any time and immediately charging at the center, capturing bishop to e2, bishop to f5, rook to d1. Of course, if e4, well, Knight takes on c3, if capturing the bishop, saving the knight, if capturing the knight, saving the bishop. So, of course, that is not working, not against Kasparov. Rook to d1, a5. Pushing the a-pawn, castling, queen to e7, activating the queen, a3, grabbing more space, pushing the a-pawn. Bishop goes back, bishop to g6, queen to c4, rook over, defending the knight, knight to d2, Knight back, and it is black to move. What would you do in this position? Well, the next move of Garry Kasparov surprised his opponent. Well, it surely does surprise me. Well, Garry Kasparov played knight to d4, sacrificing the knight and offering his knight to the pawn. Well, also attacking the bishop, capturing the bishop with check, that is the threat. What else? Capturing the knight. And then capturing back. Not capturing back first, knight to f4, but not saving the bishop. Let's take it back. If not accepting the sacrifice, actually this is losing. For white, this is not very good. Pushing the pawn, queen goes back. Knight takes bishop, knight takes knight, but now pinning the knight. And if moving the knight, capturing the rook. And soon black is simply going to take the knight and damage the pawn structure. And this is not looking good for white. So this was the spectacular move of Gary Kasparov. He is playing like Mikhail Tal. Well, Kasparov was also a pretty aggressive chess player. And he was known as, because of his aggressive, fierce attacking style, he was known as the Beast from Baku. So in this position, accepting the sacrifice, Capt knight to f4, defending the bishop, but now capturing the pawn, rook takes on d4. And also it looks like black has a compensation, black is going to capture one more pawn. So this is both attacking the queen, also attacking the d-pawn. And for a piece, black is going to get two pawns, plus black also has the attack. So you can see that... White has a clunky position, a passive position, white is defensive and black is attacking. But that peace sacrifice was an incredible sacrifice. We have queen to b5, but in a difficult position, actually white played a bad move. So what would you do in this position? If I give you 5 seconds, can you guess the next move, the next bone crushing move of Gary Kasparov? And after that move, white is in deep trouble. Maybe you would capture the pawn on d3 with the bishop, but there is a better move. So if I give you 5 seconds, 
starting from now. What would you do? Okay, so Kasparov didn't capture the move on d3, which was a tempting move. He pushed the pawn, and where is the queen going? This is actually trapping the queen, but now bishop comes for the rescue and losing the piece. And Kasparov is simply getting back the material, but let's take it back. In this position, if something like queen to b6, then rook to a6, and this is losing. You have to give up the queen for the rook. Because the queen is trapped. So after rook takes on d4, queen to b5, but now c6. And where is the queen going? So bishop takes on c6, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn. But now, queen back also defending the rook. And look at white's position. The bishop is boxed in. This piece, this knight is not very good so finally liberating the bishop relieving the position but it is black to move kasparov played rook to d6 defending the queen but now attacking the queen again after defending the queen what would you do again gary kasparov played a killer move and after that move white is in deep trouble If I give you 3 seconds this time, can you guess the next move of Gary Kasparov? So if you want, you can also pause the video and then after you find the move, you can unpause. And if you still can't find the move, you can still unpause <laughs> and watch the video. 1, 2, 3. Okay, this was the move, pushing the pawn. If capturing the pawn, then rook takes rook, that's losing. And believe it or not, but in this position, we have queen to c4, not even defending the knight. So in this position, if capturing the knight, then queen takes knight. That was the idea. But now Kasparov checks the king, and then he captured the knight, and bang, white resigned. Black is a piece up, and there is no compensation for white. What a game, what a crushing chess game by Gary Kasparov, the beast from Baku. Oh yeah, incredible. Okay, so let's take it back. Actually, this was a pretty beautiful and pretty exciting final position. So in this position, after pushing the pawn, if tempting knight to d2, this is actually not working. So guess the best, best move for black. What would you do in this position? Why this move is not working? Why Elvis played queen to c4, not even defending the knight? Well, yes, because of this move. And actually, after this move, there is no sensible defense for white. Can you see why, why there is no sensible defense? Well, let's play a random move. Well, seeing why there is no sensible defense is also very important. So if a random move, actually white is getting force checkmated, checking the king. And can you see the move? <laughs> it's very simple, actually. Sacrificing the queen, the only move, and then bang, checkmate. Okay, so after going back, let's say b3 sorry let's say f3 but then again checking the king only move sacrificing capturing check only defense capturing checkmate as you can see there is no sensible defense and okay so let's see the other continuations in this position Let's say, if pushing the g-pawn, g3, then here comes queen to h3, threatening checkmate, capturing the knight, what else, but now, again, rook to h5, and there is no defense. Knight in for the defense, capturing the knight, queen to f8, capturing, a random move, checkmate. If h3, then bang, knight takes on h3, capturing, check, 
Bishop in, threatening checkmate, and there is no sensible defense. Checkmate. The beast from Baku, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible chess game by Gary Kasparov. So this is why in this position, not even moving the knight. Hoping that <laughs> Kasparov is going to capture the knight and queen takes knight. But now checking the king and then capturing the knight. In fact, after checking the king, white resigned. And thank you very much for watching. This was the bone crushing, amazing attack by Gary Kasparov. And I hope that you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time with more brutal, amazing attacking chess games from the chess history. So take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.